Tensions, tensions were high during last night's Common Council meeting. South Utica residents had a lot of concerns on an apartment complex being built in their own neighborhood. Our Ben Dennis breaks down that project and the concerns that it's bringing to the table. The former Sunset Avenue School in Utica is slated to be demolished. In its place, a 60-unit housing facility. 12 units are for those with autism and the rest for those with lower to middle income. It's a project by the Kilberman Center, a nonprofit supporting those with autism. But some in the neighborhood of the project are crying a lack of transparency, doing so at Utica's Common Council meeting Wednesday night. However, the project has not been kept behind closed doors. The council passed a resolution last year uh, endorsing an application for the Kelderman Center to apply for monies to create a facility that would allow people with dis disabilities such as autism to be active uh, part of the community as they mature into adulthood. Still, many of those who spoke noted they were not made aware until the state awarded the Kelberman Center $5 million for the project. I want answers, and I want to know if it's a done deal. And if it is, why didn't we know about it? We went door to door, uh, both myself twice and Councilman Bob DeSantis. There were public postings for all of the community announcements, the common council meetings, the IDA meetings. Multiple residents said they take issue that their own input was not incorporated throughout the preliminary planning stages of the project. However, the city of Utica says that the planning board did not require public comment submission in order for them to grant site plan approval. It didn't exceed any type one thresholds, which are uh, reserved for major projects. Uh, this was um, fairly standard. Uh, size project in terms of its impacts. It, it, it's, it doesn't require uh, court, what's called coordinated review with other outside state or government agencies that may have a permitting role in the process. Uh, it didn't require a public hearing. Site plan approval was issued in May of 2018. In addition, there will be parking around the four-story building, one space per residence. Demo of the former school is expected for this fall, and the project is slated to be complete by 2020's end. In Utica, Ben Dennis, Eyewitness News.